Hello, this is Bern, and the guy you were with, and the thinks with you, and you're wondering how you can get him back. Stick around, because I'm going to be sharing with you how to get back your ex in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to Today is another episode of Ask Bern, where any of you amazing, beautiful women get to ask me a question on understanding men, how to create the relationship of your dreams, and anything in between. And I create a video response just for you. <laughs> Today's question comes from three different women. That's why I'm not actually posting the name on my screen because three women at the same on the same week asked me, "How do I get back my ex?" And here's what I have to say about this. Not before giving you a little rant, <laughs> and that's if the guy you were with decided that for whatever reason he doesn't want to connect with you, that you're not worth his time, that he has other shit going on. My question to you, first question is why on earth would you want that guy back? If he decided to end things with you and you're saying, love me, like me, I'm still worthy of your love, you're basically creating a lack of value in his eyes and in your own heart. So you're lowering your value, you're lowering your self-worth and it's incredibly painful. So the first thing I'll say is stop that insanity. I'm going to ask you a step number one. On that long list of things, that list of requirements of what constitutes a soulmate, what constitutes your ideal guy, I'm going to ask you on top of that freaking list to add this requirement. He must choose me. He must want to be with me. If he has all the qualities and doesn't have this one, he is not your guy. He is not your soulmate. I don't care how much chemistry is between both of you. He's not choosing you. He's not for you. Second step, if you really want to get a guy back is you need to stop trying. You need to completely, and I mean completely let go to the point where you're not trying to connect. You're not worried about him. You're not stalking him on Facebook. You're not asking your friends how he's doing. You completely, you imagine this man died and you suffer a little bit. You say, well, he died, okay, in your mind, but I'm, that's it. You're not going to connect with him again. And you're going to, step number three, create, start creating a mind-blowing, amazing freaking life. Getting a real life, that's what I'm talking about. Connecting a life that you're in love with, creating the conditions in your life by doing things you love, by connecting to more human beings, by expressing yourself more fully, by engaging in your passions, you're going to create a life that not just you, but any human being would be in love with. You're going to start raising up the worth from the inside out by reconnecting to the reason you're here and to the things that make you feel alive, healthy, happy, vibrant, sensual, anything that makes you feel happy, you end up connecting with in that period of time. Number four, you're going to, and this is the most crucial step in this process, without this step, this shit will not work. <laughs> step number four is you need to set very strong boundaries with this guy and get real distance between both of you. This is why, because the guy right now is having the best of both worlds. He doesn't have you, but whenever he connects with you, you're there for him. Whenever he wants to see you, you are like, oh my God, let's see each other. And you're hoping that he gets back with you and he doesn't get back with you. So you're going to do a different strategy. You're going to say, you know what, right now, you don't want to be with me. I totally get it. I need space and time to heal for real. Connecting with you, even if it's one minute a week, it's hurting me. So I want you to step back and I want you to have the strength and the cojones <laughs> to stay within yourself and not connect with me. And you're gonna set a time period. 60 days is ideal, but at the very minimum 30 days where he's not gonna connect with you. He might break his promise, but you are not going to engage with him. You are not going to give him time or space or anything. You're seriously going to give him 30 days to think about his decision. And here's why it's so important, because if you break your promise in the middle of the whole thing, he doesn't yet have the, hasn't endured a long enough time to really miss you. So you're going to set distance for two things to happen. Either A, he's going to really miss you and do whatever he can to write to connect with you. And then at the end of 30 days, you can say yes or no, or you can start slowly. That's what would be my recommendation if you decide to do this. Do it slowly. Don't go from zero to 60 all in one day. But if he doesn't do that, if he chooses not to connect with you, if he chooses not to miss you, then you are already creating the life of your dream. So that's why step number five is very, very important as well. It's connect with more men. As you set strong boundaries and you're getting the real space to heal from this man and you're not connecting with him, not engaging with him, not stalking him, not thinking about him, or you might be thinking about him, but you're not letting, you're not connecting with him in any way, you're going to start connecting with more men. You're going to start creating friendships, you're going to start creating conversations, you're going to start creating aliveness with more guys to the point where you start feeling inside of you, not in your head, that there's abundance out there, that there's more guys out there as a possibility for you. I'm not saying you're going to feel like, oh my God, I want to marry this guy, but I still want, I do want you to feel like this is a guy that you can be friends with. That's at the level that I want you to connect with guys right now. 
If you do that, step number six is something will happen. He will either come back or not come back. If he comes back, take it slow and decide for you what's going to assure you that this guy is not going to do the same stupid thing again where he's dissing you for something else. Uh, and then when you feel like he's done the right thing and that he's really connected with you and that he really wants to make this happen, then you reconnect with him slowly again. If he doesn't come back, you're already connecting with guys, you're already creating a life of your dreams, you're already falling in love with yourself again, and you have an amazing life regardless. The whole point of this whole thing is, at the end of this process, whether he connects back with you or not, becomes almost irrelevant. And if you get to that space where you can fully relax into knowing that there's something else, something better waiting for you, then the possibilities of him getting back are stronger, but if he doesn't, who gives a shit? Okay? If you think this is powerful, if you think this is helpful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description box of this video or on the corner here of your screen, you're going to see a link that allows you to connect to my live webinar that's going to guide you. It's a free webinar that's going to guide you through a three-step process on how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's super powerful and it's free. If you have any questions for me, write a comment on this video or any of my other videos and I promise to either respond to you personally or create a video just for you. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.